Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a cPanel email account on Microsoft Outlook 365 Business. So let's open up my web browser and I'm logged into a cPanel account here right now and I'm going to create a new email account. This is just a test email or a test cPanel account I use sometimes. It's going to be info at dcpwebdesign.co.uk. Once I'm done I'm going to delete this email account so don't try and spam me on it because it won't exist. But I'm going to just create this dummy email account just to demonstrate how to set it up onto um, Outlook. So what we'll do is click create. And now we have this email account here. And what I will do is click on connect devices here. So this is just for your own reference. When you click on connect devices, on the left hand side here, it's going to show you the SSL encryption settings. So if you want to manually set it up or set it up on some other type of device like Gmail on your phone, Gmail app or something on that, or maybe an Apple device, then these are the settings you're going to need. But for now, we're going to go to Outlook and we'll go to File and we'll click Add Account here. So I'm just going to File here and then click Add Account. And it's going to ask me for an email address. So we'll put that email address in here. We'll click the advanced options and say, let me set up my account manually and click connect. And we've got two options here, pop through your IMAP, one of these two. You can use either, but I would say IMAP is probably better because it syncs folders and it syncs messages uh, between the server and this Outlook that's running on my machine. So remember, this is the web browser. So this is not really something that's running on my computer. This is running on the internet, in the cloud, you could say almost. And this is running locally on my machine. So I'm going to select IMAP. It's going to ask me for the password, so I'll put in this password here and click connect and then click done. So I can see the email account is here now and you can set many of these up in your Outlook. It doesn't have to be one account, you can set many of them up and it's just syncing everything. So it's sending and receiving and it's received all the data from the inbox. So I'm going to right click on this inbox, but before I do that, let me go back one. And what I want to see really is um, check mail here. So when I click on check mail, I'm looking at the email account now via webmail. And I'm going to click on hoard here, this option called hoard. This is just another way of viewing emails. So this is what the server sees. And you can see in Outlook, you see the same information. So they're synced together. So if I were to receive some emails in my Outlook, those emails will also be transferred over to the server side. Why does that happen? Basically, um, imagine if you've got this email account set up on your phone and you've also got it set up on your Outlook here and you want exactly the same emails to be delivered to both devices. So I've got my desktop computer here and I may have my phone in my hand. If I'm using IMAP settings, then whatever hits this inbox here on the server side will also hit Outlook and also hit my phone and vice versa. If I send something from my phone, um, Let's say if I send something from Outlook as a sent item, when I look at my phone, I'll also see that on my phone as well, because I'm using IMAP and it's syncing everything together between the server and whatever devices are being used to send and receive email. It could be Outlook, it could be your mobile phone, it could be your tablet device, uh, quite various different devices. So let's do a little experiment. Let's right click on this inbox and create a new folder and let's call it client uh, emails or something like this, right? And we'll hit enter. Now we've got a new inbox here called uh, or new folder called client emails so we see sent items we see trash you see sent items here you see trash you see drafts and you see it's slightly laid out differently here but you can see the same information here and here if i go to folder options here and say rebuild folder list uh let's see maybe we have to do send receive first so let's go here click send receive and click send receive all folders so it should send the information that this client emails has been created to the server side and then we should be able to rebuild folder list and now we see client emails here, right? You don't have to do that rebuild folder list. That should really happen automatically, but it's going to do it every so often, not as and when you want it. So what we can do now is take something like, um, let's say this Microsoft Outlook test email, right? We can see that one here, this Microsoft Outlook test email. Let's drag and drop that into client emails and then click send receive. And when we click this refresh button, you can see it's been removed here and now it's sitting in here. So they've been synced together. So what we can do now is create a new email. So let's, um, in fact, let's see, let's go to home here. Let's create a new one and we'll send this to my, um, my test Gmail account. So let's send it to here and let's just call it 
test email. This is a test email and we'll click send. And then let's just go here and click send receive. You don't have to do that, but um, that's just forcing it to send receive. If we look at the out box, uh, let's see, sent items, should I say, sent items, we'll see it's here. And if we go over to the email account, again, webmail, and click uh, refresh and sent items, we'll see the sent one is in here for Gmail. If we go to Gmail, we can see the email here now in Gmail as well, right? So this, this Gmail account is separated, but let's reply to that. So let's, uh, let's see, reply. And we'll just say, this is a test reply. And we'll click send. Now that email account, that email is really going back to, really that email goes back to the server first. And then Outlook syncs with the server to, to receive that email. So we'll click send receive here. We might receive it by now. Let's see. So nothing's come yet. Well, let's click on inbox. It might help. So nothing's there yet. Let's go to webmail here and click refresh on the inbox. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for emails to, to be sent and received, especially from like third party servers and stuff like that. But um, we'll try and get this working. Let's see. Sometimes we've got to be a little bit patient. should get that email into this inbox here it is the test email and here you can see it in um, in uh, the server side right so this is a test email that came from my outlook and you can see it also in uh, that came from my gmail and you can see in outlook and you can see it on the server side so everything's synced together if i took that test email and said it was a client email and drag and drop it into the client emails here and then click uh, send receive and then click refresh here it will get removed from the inbox and then now it's sitting in the clients folder so you can see how easy it's pretty easy to set up cpanel email accounts onto outlook and using imap you can send and receive and all your folders and all your structure will be synced between different devices so if i were to create um let's say another folder here and if i had this same email account running on my gmail app on my phone then when I create the folder here, that same folder will be created on the Gmail app on my phone. And when I drag and drop emails from my inbox into that particular folder, like client emails, then in Gmail, uh, sorry, yeah, in Gmail on my phone, the app itself, it will also sync that and move the emails to that particular folder. So synchronization is quite key here. So let's go ahead and refresh this. Um, and we can see there's nothing in the inbox. There's three emails in here. And there's three emails in here so the last thing i'll do is click on file i'll go back to account settings and i'm going to delete this account because i don't need it let's remove it and delete it that was just to show you how it all works and we'll close this down and i'm going to now uh, let's see manage and i'll delete that email account as well because i don't need it okay so hopefully that's all clear if you've got any problems with that Give me a little message on Skype or on, uh, not Skype, on the YouTube uh, description or on Facebook description as well in the comments. And I'll try and help you out, but you should be pretty good to go. Okay, so that's how you go about setting up an email account on Outlook Business 365. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.